Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Blank Check here, and today we are back to MLP Season 9, this time Episode 12, The Last Crusade. I've heard a lot of hype for the next couple episodes, that's always a good sign. Also, the last time they directly referenced an Indiana Jones title, we got one of the defining episodes of the series, wherein the CMC received their cutie marks. So, uh, no pressure, writers. Obviously, this is a Crusaders episode, and something internal or external is threatening the continuing existence of their group. It could be a falling out between the friends, a new character creating a schism, or circumstances causing one or multiple of them to be forced to quit. And I assume they'll be back together by the end, but given that we're halfway through the last season, it could surprise and actually be the last crusade. It's a stretch, but I could see some timeline where there is an amicable reason for the three to split up, and we have a bittersweet but hopeful ending for this arc. But probably not. Anyway, I don't know what this video will look like when it gets to you guys, but whatever it is, you're watching it, so that's a success in my book. Almost at the halfway point, ladies and gentlemen, let's go crusading. Alright. Is this? Who is this one? Do I know this person? I can't remember. It's great, Skedaddle! Skedaddle! It's a four! Not tying! And I never <laughs> gotten it without all of you! I call it... We suggest not tying... The poop loop! I tried sailing, like you said! Next, I tried fishing, like you said! Then I tried drowning, like you said! Then my oar broke. So I used my fishing line to tie it back together, and I got my cutie bird! I can't wait to tell every pony! Wow. That, that seems pretty easy compared to what these three had to go through to get theirs. Oh, how exciting! You three truly have a gift for helping ponies. Aw, oh, thanks, Aunt Holiday. <laughs> I like her. Take for this wait! One. Of course you can. You encouraged that cult to try new things. And because you all believed in him, he succeeded. Did she just say Aunt? I could use that kind of help. <laughs> Come on, Auntie Lofty. You already have your oh, wait, oh, oh, um. A lot of good it does me. I can't decide what theme to give this quilt. I've run out of inspiration. What is happening? Apples, puppies, kites, or cotton. Yeah, kites, apples, puppies, and quilt. kites. What about a Wonderbolt quilt? <laughs> Are these her ants? Leave it to you three to come up with more ideas than I've had in a year. Now that's talent. How much are we getting here? How much... Scootaloo lore. We better get going or miss our train home. I left you plenty of healthy food for the weekend. And I left you cookies. <laughs> Scoot's got an Aussie ant. The cakes will stay with you tonight. Then ready and rainbow dash after that. Remember, we're just a few stops from Ponyville if you need us. She knows, Holiday. See you next week, Slugger. Aunt Holiday. Bye, has... Aunt Holiday. Bye, Auntie Lofty. Lofty. Your ants are so nice. Aunt Holiday is a cool face yeah. shape. It's really cool they want you while your parents are gone. Pa oh, what the hell? I just wish they lived closer. No pony bakes like Auntie Lofty. Okay, um... Hey, Derpy, how's it going? <gasps> Don't mind me, just... Today! Who? Hi, well, that's it, guys. Why is this called The Last Crusade? What about Scootaloo's parents? are gonna make her stop doing this. Either they're going to want her to stop hanging out with these two, maybe misunderstanding, or they want her... They live far away, right? They want her to go back with them? Holy... Hold on, Scootaloo has parents! Let me address that firstly. Also, she has two aunts who live together. That's... Ooh! Very interesting. Today, we're going to learn about the Pegasus Weather Factory. What yeah, let's teach the kids about how they get crushed seats? up in the rainbows. That'll just complete the trifecta of lore. The factory specializes in snow, rain, sunshine, and... <coughs> Death. Scootaloo, may I help you? I just noticed your erasers needed dusting. <laughs> 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 Off on the lesson She's always so helpful. Lunch. How about 
don't show and tell. Does any pony have any- My parents are coming home to Ponyville today! I'll show you this cool dust I found on the erasers. Here? Nope. Their jobs are way too important for that. They travel to the farthest, most dangerous places in Equestria to study unknown plants, oh my God. fierce creatures. They're and actual they're crusaders. Pony science and medicine. I'd go with them, but it's too dangerous. What if her parents... It's the, her parents' last crusade. ...to win wrestle a wyvern, and my dad got trapped in a chimera's cave for three moons. He still has the scars to prove it. So they're straight up... Either they're straight up daring do... No pony has that kind of job. Or she has an overinflated sense of her own parents due to... ...them being so far away and not part of her life. Also... You know, let's just ignore that second part because they brought a gator with them. Easy there, Marshmallow! Oh my! When you were in your crate for your nap. <laughs> All right, Scootaloo's dad is Steve Irwin. And that means now, Mister. That's why her aunt is is an Aussie. So his sister. Oh boy! Mom! There's. Too much happening right now, Still people. Think she's making it all up. Nuh uh. Every pony, meet my parents, Snap Shutter and Main All Good. Wow, yeah, she's got one Sorry of them. Sorry to make such an entrance. Just brought back a few mates from our last adventure. Big Buck Daddy. Another moment to see Scootaloo. I hope we didn't interrupt anything. And she, no, that I, one, her outfit's I, modeled after someone. I'm sure as well. Cry! Holy crap! Tall as me now, Scoot. Aw, oh, come on, Dad. Oh, Scootaloo, we missed you. Me too, Mom. Okay, so they want her to go on their next adventure. Many times, but they're never as good as the real thing. Or back home down under. Good to see you. I say we celebrate with ice cream sundays. Yeah, a sunday. Well, that's for sure. Why don't you all come? Our treat. Good day, mate. What? Oh boy! I want to see the ants again. Give me some of that. I want to know what's up with that. We're such good friendship tutors. She might even let us teach a class. Good on you, Scoot. What an honor. She just. I can give you a tour of the school if you want. Telling them. If you're staying for a while this time. Oh, you'll be seeing plenty of us. Or waiting oh, really? in detail the last year. Because we've taken a new job assignment that will let all of us live together. I can't believe. But not in Ponyville. Mom! Oh, Rod Scootaloo! Wait for it to drop, Scoots. We planned to be away for so long in the first place. We just kept discovering things that could help Equestria. And no pony else had the experience to finish our job. Like nine seasons Sombers worth. Lately, Sombers returned, the destruction of the Tree of Harmony. We decided our family should be together. There's been a lot of bad stuff happening. This is the best. Before that. And you all didn't come back. For the weekend, so you can pack your things. Wait, what? There it is. We're all moving to Shire Lanka. That's where our new job is. Shire Lanka. All right, that's good name. Though. Good name. You can come back and visit them. There's the drop. Can take the train to us. There's one every month. But Scootaloo can't leave. We've been together our whole lives. It'll be a big change for every pony, but it'll be a good change. Okay. Good time. You'll see. The only thing I see is the end of the Cutie Mark Crusade. Oh boy, this is... Okay, this setup can honestly go either way. This can actually happen. This... If they have the guts... Ever Cutie Mark Crusader... These show riders, they would... Out of business. Let this happen. The way it more realistically would. Oh, sees without me. like if they learn how to live two of us. along this is a relationship and Find be apart, a that would be such a huge deal. Man. You're the only you. Nothing's gonna be the same. Who's gonna ride their scooter ahead of us everywhere we go, or or put on plays with us, or go camping with us? But Scootaloo deciding to stay back, back would also be a huge deal in the context of her familial. 
relationship. Guess who just got free front row tickets to the Wonderful show next week? But it seems like her parents are great and cool and she loves them, so like that... I don't see that happening. The reaction I was expecting. Oh, man. Thanks for the tickets, Rainbow Dash, but I can't go. Her parents are making her move super far away from Ponyville. What? No. And the cop-out is that they are offered a job in Ponyville or in Equestria. That That's the one option of the three that I would I can't not like as much. I so easily. You're the cutie mark crusaders. Solving tough problems is what you do. All three of you should go to Shire Lanka. Coming up with ideas? That's right. When we work together, we're unstoppable. That's the real solution. I didn't think of it before. It's list time, y'all. All right. So someone hire Twilight. Question. Why does Goodaloo's parents want to move to Shire Lanka? We got a lot of listing to do. That's where their new job is. <gasps> what if we get them a job here instead? Yeah! They like dangerous creatures, right? All right. We gotta have some of those around here, like uh, timber wolves. The last crusade is a crusade to get and cockatrices and bugbears. They only tenure job opportunities animals. for two adults. Maybe we need to give them an animal no ponies ever heard of. Uh, then how would we hear about it? Because we're making it up. Come on. Yeah. Three fillies in a trench coat. So, you want these tickets, or...? With some Wonder Bolts pasted on the sides this for speed and flair. The tracks of the mysterious Everfree Banshee Beast. Hmm, they're like nothing I've ever seen. Legend says it has five claws. There is a chance that her parents see... dangerous if you get close. How much she wants to stay and didn't realize yes. it and decide to compromise for her sake. Which has its own merits. <laughs> I think I heard something this way. But it's not as world shattering of a something to do in the final season. So the plan is we let him get a picture, then we hide again, right? Is that <laughs> now the plan is run! We call him Beerus. <laughs> He's got that shaved cat mixed with a bat look going on. Wow. This creature's <laughs> made of fillies. We'd better get back. There's a lot to get ready before the house goes up for sale tomorrow. They escaped his stomach. I mean, Scoot's ants seem pretty cool. Sure, they'd love the. Don't worry, Scootaloo. We have a new plan to keep you in Ponyville. Hang out in Ponyville. Just show your parents we're a set of three. Then they'll have to let you stay here with us. Take care of their favorite niece. And Holiday. Hey, y'all better not open the door. They're trying to do some photography magic. Good. Are these yours? I noticed it because yeah. it's on your butt. Thanks, Dad. We're sending them to the Pony Book of Records. Sorry, that was a We're southern drawl, not down the south. The chances of that are so rare. It means we belong together forever. All right. Yeah, but you don't have the same cutie mark. You can come with us then. Yeah, sure we do. Look. Well, this part is the same, but the picture inside each of these is different. I think it means you'll stay best friends no matter where you go, and that's really special. Dude just blew their minds. How do you argue with that? Yeah, never thought of it that way, huh? You naive kids. <sighs> thought you could be together forever. Take things up a notch. Life ain't nice like that, fillies. With prune juice? It's a potion I mixed up from Zakora's. Go straight to their stomachs. Only one of the ingredients. What's it do? On this potion. Please depend. It's a Any separation, mend. Friends together till the end. We just gotta dab a little on our hooves. Sounds perfect, right? That Darn, I perfect. can't rhyme laxative with any of those words. They all turn purple. Is something supposed to happen? Oh no, they're magnetized. Is this the something that's supposed to happen? The book didn't really say. 
They're gonna get really good at. Thanks for trying, Apple Bloom, but I might as well face it. I'm gonna have to leave Ponyville. Ten legged horse races. Had to count for a second. This just gave me an even better idea how to keep you here. Come on! Whoa! We forcibly tie your parents to Ponyville. Maybe we'd better see Zakora about fixing this first. We put a shot collar on them. And if they try to leave the premises, they time. get zapped. <laughs> this Pretty sure her dad could lift that out of the ground. Scootaloo. I know you're having fun. Probably your mom friends, too. But we need to get all our things to the station. We can't miss tomorrow's train. It's the only one for a month. All right. And you'll just have to go without me. We sabotage the train. With the CMCs. We are chained to this post. And nothing and no pony is going to move us. No matter. <laughs> We just sold the house, Scoot. I know this is hard. Oh to accept, well. But just it's more house is hard. gone. It's not fair. That's You're making me pick between my family and my friends. That one's rough. Oh, Scootaloo. Moving away won't stop you three from caring about each other. Why don't you sleep over with Sweetie Belle and Apple Bloom tonight? It'll give you a chance to say a real Oh, is she gonna try to run away? I don't want to say goodbye. You're changing my whole life without even asking how I feel. <laughs> this one is rough. That's very rough. The parents know that they can still be friends long distance. But that's a lot for Scootaloo to take in. Scootaloo! They just sold the house though. Where that's a going to stay with my aunt. And they have a job. You heard my parents. There is another train to Sri Lanka for a month. If I'm not on it, they'll have to go without. Me. Uh, do they have, are they going to introduce? Then we're coming with you. The Equestria's first sure. telephone. So they can talk together every night. I won't be mad. Applejack neither. I bet you do the same thing for her friends. You're the best. You know that. We're the best together. I have. Who's is it? Scootaloo or the parents that are going to come to a big realization here? I. The aunts are going to talk. Scootaloo. What a some nice sense. surprise. And I've got a surprise for you. Into Scootaloo, aren't they? That's. That's how we do this. You three inspired me to finish my quilt. See? It's Cutie Mark Crusader. Oh themed. my god. We love hearing stories about all the ponies you've helped. So Lofty decided to celebrate the special job you three do. Oh, they're so great. Oh, I love them. It's still a work in progress. It's not your quilt we're sad about, Auntie Lofty. Mom and Dad are back, and they're making me move to Shire Lanka with them. Snap and mine a bag? They didn't tell me that. Oh, I think the mail huh. delivered your letter to my house. <laughs> Those aren't your parents. What? I love my How family. can I never know? I being with my friends, too. I don't want to have to choose. Well, then why don't your parents just stay in Ponyville? Their job is too important. Oh, boy. Is this another potion? We idea? sabotage their employers. Scootaloo's parents are the only ponies in Equestria that can do what they do, right? Right? That's right. why they so should teach. We. Our cutie marks prove it. Yeah. Our job is to help other ponies find their purpose. Put them in the school of friendship. Nobody else can do that. So if my parents split us up, it'd be just as bad as them quitting their jobs. <laughs> is it? Is that what it is? Now, Explain that to him. Oh, you. Don't I mean, okay. Want to explain it. They will. All right, sure. Yeah. Oh man, they're gonna get all the feeling better. School all the little kids they helped, and also the non-kids. Something before we go. The late bloomers. Right. But let's make it swift. That train won't wait. That's, I'm just thinking of all the hassle it's gonna be to try to. Sweet Celestia slippers. What is all this? Renegotiate the house or buy a new one or something? It's insane. It sucks. But we couldn't start without all of them here. CMCs! CMCs! All right. <laughs> Starlight's like, yeah, I'm here. Woo, great. CMCs! These three ponies share a rare ability to help others find their true purpose. It's a job only they can do, and only together. 
That sounds That's a little bit of a stretch, but okay, sure. Well, they have done and continue to do for the ponies of this town. I would like to present the Cutie Mark Crusaders with a three-handled key to the city. <laughs> <laughs> it splits into three pieces, so only together, when they're all in the same place, can they open every door in the city. Good job, Wonderbolts. A full Wonderbolt salute. Oh, well, I'm not sure you know just how important Scootaloo and her friends are. I don't know. Rainbow Dash kind of got find out. got the ins there. The CMCs used their free time to set up a camp to help us Black Flanks find our cutie marks. The cutie mark crusaders see the best in every pony, even when that pony can't see it in themselves. Well, I'll be hey. a three-tailed bandicoot. I had no idea how important Scoot's club was. Give me someone oh, else. Way more than like, I don't know that kid. The CMCs have made a difference for every pony. I wanted. Here. Where's Diamond Not Tiara? Ponies. They help. Yeah, Gabby. Nature. Whether it's encouraging others to discover their special. Give me Babs or Diamond Tiara. Someone. Or they're inspiring them to do. Ah, uh, in darn! Home. I want her to stand this up for them. Please offer the town something no other pony can. It's all over now. No way! After all that, you're still gonna make her leave? We just want what's best for Scootaloo. And until now, hey. we thought we knew what that yeah, was. Yeah, and the best is first day here. Turns out, you're just it's unfortunate. Like us, Scoot. You have an important job that only you But it looks like they're heading out. You love it, and it helps all of Equestria. Because they got a job too. Sometimes that means missing out on other things you love. Like watching our daughter grow into a pony, we're very oof. Proud. Which is a long way Ooh, to say. Ooh, all so right. If you want to stay, we understand. <gasps> yep, there it is. But they got a train to catch. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Mom. We love you. See you next year. Bye. Yeah, next month. But come on. Oh, sweet. I want to be dramatic. I'm sorry, we didn't realize it sooner. Our work is our life's purpose. We could never Pip is quit, so... so there's no way we can ask you to do the same. So prepped for this. Maybe I should have thought of that before you sold the house. <laughs> Lofty, don't tease my brother. We already have a solution worked out. <laughs> we bought the house. Since the CMCs make Ponyville such a nice place, we've decided to move here. Yay! That's good, Lou. If oh, you like, the ants! That would be amazing! Oh, I hope they come back. Will you? Come on, 14 more episodes. Of course. Rabbit bugbears couldn't keep us. It was his 14 chances for Red Holiday and Aunt Lofty. You got to stay here. You got to stay here. You got to stay. We've been practicing this chant for days. Uh, you are staying here, right? Are you kidding? CMC's forever. I think I should go out on my own. The zebra lands sound pretty exciting. I could help them out myself. All right. Okay, that was good. That was good. That was big. That is a big episode for lore, and a a very it's it's not, you know, not wholly original. I, I've seen this done before, but it's it's still a big deal. The parents versus friends situation, wherein neither one's going to you know back down, and I'm I'm just glad that the parents didn't stay in Ponyville, because that's that's too easy. This is the one, it's less bold that Scootaloo stayed in Ponyville, uh, but it is probably more proper for the show. It, it It's the right choice, even if, you know, I wanted just to shake up the fandom by its roots with the other one. Still, that's... They handled it correctly for the sake of MLP. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was MLP Season 9, Episode 12, The Last Crusade, and that one was pretty good. A lot happened, it was plot dense, and they came out of the gate swinging with new lore for the show that we hadn't seen before. It had a fairly big set of story beats it had to meet, and it did just that, but didn't have a lot of time to breathe between them. Really, I think the only problem facing the episode was the 22-minute runtime. This kind of storyline is one that has the potential to be something very special, but we're really constrained by having to get all this stuff crammed into one episode. That said, what we have is very good still. 
even after trying to compensate for the positive bias of being blindsided by these revelations about Scootaloo's home life. It was well done from start to finish. All her family members seem fine. We were introduced to four of them at once, so we didn't get a whole lot out of any single one. Hopefully we see more of the aunts in the future because they're pretty awesome and also props on the show for that. Good job, Hasbro. Couldn't let Arthur show you guys up, huh? But anyway, holy crap, we know who Scootaloo's parents are and it's Steve Irwin and wife. There goes so many fanfics. I like how they're over-the-top explorers. That's a, a pretty good reason for not seeing them so far in the show. After Bright Mac and Pear Butter, it would be a little redundant if they were dead, though not necessarily unrealistic. And something darker than that, like abuse or whatever, would not really fit the show. So what we have here, it's good. It works. It's MLP. Just like our moral and our ending. The parents haven't been here to see what their daughter's done, what the CMC has accomplished together. In this world, they do have a very unique bond, so it's reasonable to think that a long-distance friendship would work, coming in from the outside. They're certainly not bad guys for wanting their daughter with them. And that led to a pretty niche moral, maybe the most specific that the show's had. This is a bit rarer than a stepfather coming into a stepdaughter's life, or a child having to choose between parents after a divorce. I guess you could expand it to telling parents to think about what's best for their children in a, in a serious way. But if not, this is played more as a satisfying narrative for the characters, rather than something that specifically has a moral for the audience. It was ultimately a relatively lighthearted episode for what it could have been. A lot of the misery was played over the top, some exaggerated crying, going to extreme measures to boycott this move. There's a way to play this straighter, more down to earth, and elicit more of the emotion that comes in this sort of scenario. But as is the more usual MO of the show, we hit the highlights of that while having some fun in between. Which still leads us to a very heartwarming last few minutes, as well as that change of heart. And that counts for a lot. And it's a lot to take in for a single episode, proving that even this late in the game, the show still has things up its sleeve, even relating to some of our core characters that we've had for nine years. It's pretty crazy, and I expect there's some more big things to come. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me here, and I hope to see you again. Until next time, remember, in the immortal words of Sweetie Belle, you're the only you.